All right. Don't worry about the Knicks. This is your boy, Chris, with the Knicks. And real quick, I just want to talk about that whole Baton Rouge video that went viral. Um, of the, that fat, Cheeto, big ass, you know, bad dye job, f fake Florida Evans, fro heaven ass child that was hearing her friend get raped in the next room. Now they're saying that the girl saying that she didn't get raped, that she, the boy was choking her, that he was just on her, she thought she was getting ready to die. And the police is saying it's the family issue, that they're not really going in deep into it. I call it bullshit because in that video you can hear that girl saying, twice you raping me. Then one of her friends, that the big chick, she was laughing, talking about she didn't know what was going on in there. That's supposed to be her friend. Then one of the dudes that was sitting there with the um the big Cheeto head chick, Kool Aid Red hair chick, bad dog hair dog chick. She um he said, damn, he beating that little booty up. So you clearly I'm just saying I'm just thinking it's rape. You know, she up here screaming and hollering. Then she recorded the boy that came in in the room talking to his smack, but he had his pants zipped down, his pants looked disheveled. You know, like he quickly tried to pull him back up and he forgot to zip his fly up. Like he was in a hurry with something. So, you know, I'm definitely calling rape. Um, I hope they're not trying to protect these boys. Because I do feel like if you do the crime, you should do the time no matter what race you are. Yes, I do know that the justice system is not fair to the black people. But if you're going to do something, you know, this is not a Caleb Browder situation where he got c falsely convicted of something that he did not do. Um, as for people, let this be a lesson learned. This is like another Kanika Jenkins situation. Only thing she walked away with her life. This is another situation like that girl that got jumped for a gram of weed. Which in reality, she didn't get jumped for no gram of weed. She was just in there with, it was like about 11 dudes and three girls. Um, four girls, including herself. And the other three was probably the, the hoes that let them do all the nasty stuff. And so they couldn't have her, so then they started beating up her on her. This is another situation like that. This is why you have to know who you hang around with. I always talk about fake friends. And I don't mind doing that. Because this generation is just so fucking desensitized to everything. To think everything is funny. When it ain't. And there's sometimes there be people in your own circle. You can't just be doing stuff for people. If they don't do something for you. Always give, give, give. And they take, take, take. And they don't give nothing back. That's a clear one. That's a red flag. If they say little stupid stuff like I hate you. Or, or it's little stupid stuff. And you feel in your gut instinct that they really trying to say what they trying to say. That's a red flag. That's a, a warning. You know. This has got to stop. You got to know who you hanging around with. Because everybody ain't your friend. Or just because some people do stuff for you. They ain't your friend. Most likely, we got we walk around on this earth with a lot of opportunists, especially in LA. You have a lot of people who are opportunists. Point blank. That's why my circle stays small. I don't care about what other people are doing. If I helped you before and you shitted on me, you know, much luck to you because you ain't getting no more luck for me. That's just how it goes. Okay. So, anyways, comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Till then, this is me, your boy Crystal, with the next. Peace.